does a city that was one of the largest copper producers in the United States suddenly turn into a ghost town? It probably has something to do with, I don't know, aliens? Well, I'm Sydney, and this is Max, and we're going to blast through the past here in America's largest ghost town, Jerome, Arizona. Two kids travel to places, two kids discover traces of events that'll happen I thought we were supposed to go to the Grand Canyon. Stop complaining. Doc said he had to do some research here first before we go. Why here? We're in the middle of nowhere. Come on, we have some time. Let's go check out the town. Doc said it's actually a pretty cool place. A bunch of people living in a town in the middle of nowhere. This sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Fine, stay here then. All right, I'm coming, but there better be a place where I can get some food. What kind of town is this? Everything looks so old. I know, isn't it great? The buildings look so historic. Yeah, if by historic you mean falling apart, then I definitely agree with you. <laughs> Come on, Max, just imagine. A long time ago, that might have been a big hotel. Yeah, it was so important that some guy built his store where the lobby used to be. I wonder what made a big hotel like that close. Probably because hardly anybody lived here. And of course, Doc would think of stopping here. Like I said, middle of nowhere. I can practically smell the board. That's why it's called a ghost town! Just imagine, at one time, this was one of the biggest boom towns in the country. Boom towns? You mean they blew this place up? No, Max. Boom town just means they built the town really quickly. Well, I can't see why anybody would want to build a town here. Well, Doc? Because Jerome had one of the biggest copper mines in the world! At one time in the 1920s, over 15,000 people lived in this town. Come on, Doc. 15,000 people lived here? Oh, yeah! For about 25 years! This would have been an exciting place to live! Well, then what happened? And in the 40s, almost everyone left. What? W where did they go? There he goes again. Hopefully he takes some Ridley. Sydney and Max. Where are we going now? We need to take a good look around this town. Why? You heard, Doc. The town emptied out pretty quickly. So what? So we need to find out why. Max, look at that. Look at the balcony. It looks like it's about to fall off a cliff. How old do you think this house is? I don't know. Well, it looks like no one's lived here for a really long time. Exactly. I bet it belonged to one of the miners. Yeah? So, what, you want to buy it? <laughs> no, but I'm wondering why it was built with bricks. What else would you build a house with? Wood. Max, mining boom towns were supposed to be temporary. When everything was mined out, the miners would move on to another town and build it somewhere else. They were lucky to last five years. Why would they build it with bricks? Yeah, I saw in those old movies that like miners would use dynamite. So with everything blowing up all the time, they probably wanted a stronger house. Well, I don't know. It seems to me if you're going to use bricks to build a house, you're planning on being here a long time. Well, I can't see why anybody would want to be here for a long time. Come on, Max. A bunch of guys surrounded by saloons and casinos. Saloons? Casinos? <laughs> Where? Think they're dancing girls? <laughs> Among other things. I guess it wouldn't be that bad here after all. Come on, let's move on. 
Spooky church. What's a ghost town without a spooky church? I suppose you think this is really important too. Actually. Oh, I was kidding. Max, there's a date written there. 1894. Really? Who cares? Think about it. Doc said it was during the early 1900s that the population of this town reached 15,000 people. Yeah, I know. I was there when he told us. He said that the mine was really big and a bunch of people were here. Right. But until now, we've assumed they were all men. You're trying to tell me that some of the miners were girls? <laughs> no, but I think some of the miners had wives and families. Why would anybody want to bring a family to a place that's about to be a ghost town? Maybe because they didn't know it was going to be a ghost town. <sighs> I still don't get this place. Why would a miner leave a mining town? I don't know. Maybe the stuff they were mining just suddenly ran out. Well, that's what happened in silver and gold boom towns, but these guys were mining copper. What's the difference? Copper is not as valuable as gold. So what? I mean, if the mines were to stay open, the guys probably would have stayed. Maybe they just got everything and left. Are you sure? You mean there's still copper in there? Let's go get it. Well, I don't think it'd be worth the effort. You see, why not? Oh, I get it. Doc said the town emptied out in the mid-40s, right? Yeah, so? Well, that would have been when World War II ended. After the war, the country didn't need as much copper, so it became less valuable. So why wouldn't the mining companies just mine more copper? Well, it might have become more expensive for the mining companies to mine the copper than they could have gotten for selling it. If they weren't making any money, then how were the mining companies staying in business? Exactly. Even though there was still copper in the hills, the mines closed, the people moved out, leaving behind a ghost town. Wait, we haven't finished our investigation yet. What are you talking about? We just figured out how Jerome became a ghost town. Yeah, but we didn't figure out we we're gonna go get lunch. Oh, man. Two kids travel to places. Two kids discover traces of events that'll happen before. Where secrets are revealed and more. Sydney Max, lost in the past. Sydney Max. Sydney and Max.